to Twitter things. In this video, we are going to see about the uh, uh, HTML forms, like how to create a HTML basic form. We are going to see in this video. So uh, this is the normal uh, syntax for the HTML file. This is the HTML document of HTML and body tag. So I'm giving you example in this online website. It's a tried editor of W3 schools where you can uh, parallelly check your outputs and you can include anything at, the, at that instant only. It will help us to try the examples with the ease. Uh, other than this, you can uh, make the document in any file. You can save it as .html and you can uh, open that the same file in the with the help of any browser, then you can see the output in the whole web page. So like that. So I'm going to create one um, HTML form for that. What I am doing is I am going to uh, have the table here by using table structure. I'm going to create this login form. So for that, I want the entire thing. It should be in the center of the page. So I'm giving the center tag, which helps us to make the content uh, which are included in that particular tag will become at the center of the web page. It will divide the total uh, web page into and create a center of that. And next, what I'm doing is I'm having one login image here, which is of height 150 and our oh, height of 150 pixel. So this is all from online. I have taken that uh, login fit, login image. So image will be like this. And next, what we can do is we can have a, a table thing. So uh, by using table structure, I'm going to uh, create a one uh, a login form. So what I'm doing is creating table uh, with some border, we can say. So border is equal to of having a four, we can say border of four and cell spacing will be there and spell padding will be there. So cell padding is also with of two. So I'm having these things and I'm having a background color for that uh, table I am taking as a gray color. So these are the things which I am taking for the table. Uh, just run it. You can't see anything. Just small uh, thing is there. There is nothing. Uh, created in this table. Now what I am doing in this table is I want to have some rows in the table. Row, the table is nothing but some rows and columns, right? So I want some rows. Rows is nothing but some fields we can say. I am going to have three fields in my login table. So I am having a uh, three three things first of all. So for that I am having another input field also. For label we are having uh, one row and for text also we are having another row. So I am creating a totally six uh, six uh, rows along with that i am having one row at the bottom also so in that rows what i am having is a uh, no need of any header part like that so what i am having is table data tag is enough like uh, for any text we are using this td only so td tag will be there for each and every row one having one table data like that for each and row i am having table data you can see table data and creating there so this is the structure I'm going to run. There you can see small, small things is like there is no text in that data. So for in the first row, what I'm going to create, use is uh, uh, I'm writing some font there. So you can use that font uh, tag. With that font tag, what you can include is what the color of your font you can include. Without using styles, you can use this color, color uh, tag where you can give the color of the font, like text, what color should be, you can give. And you can mention the text in this here. So that will be uh, seen in that color. Register, uh, what I am going to use is register email ID. So this is the uh, heading of that particular field. You see, I'm running this. You can see register email ID is the uh, thing which you have in, uh, in that field. So same like this, what you are going to give is other uh, headings also. So here also and here also. So by, uh, what the color uh, thing we are going to hear is give here is after email ID, what the user can mention is a phone number, right? Phone number, um, I have given like this registered phone number. And uh, after that, what he has to enter for login form, he should have to give the password, right? So password will be there. And next, uh, I'm going to run this here. You can see, um, this is getting in a big size, but uh, rest of the one row is there left with one row. So in that row, what I'm going to do is having an input field, like input parameter, which is of type, uh, which is of type. First type is what is of type email type, right? So email type and uh, what you can mention the input field is uh, email type and a uh, uh, placeholder you can mention, right? Placeholder means what the text should be included in that particular thing. What you can do is enter, uh, 
sorry enter your uh, email id so you can mention like this enter your email. just a small hint for the user to what kind of information should be given in that particular field next after placeholder what you can give is required so required thing you can give like that field is particularly required and after this what you can give is size also you can give i'm giving size of, of the particular field is 35 so i'm going to run this particular field so you can see placeholder will be there and uh, that uh, color is given and next uh, size we have given right so these things are given for this particular field like same we are going to have the other fields also basically it is of input type uh, thing is white color so you can see here is of uh, phone number is of uh, type text i am giving and placeholder is enter your phone number right or mobile number we can give mobile number that is also required and this is a 65 or uh, like size 35 and in this mobile number what you can include is pattern also you can include pattern is equal to some uh, first number should be from uh, 7 to 9 so this first number should be from that range and the next numbers from the 0 to 9 okay so like that you can give any regular expression that will decide the uh, pattern of the particular field next uh, similarly that input uh, field for also this password but this is of type uh, we have seen so many input field parameters like type of that is password type and uh, what is the placeholder here enter your password so size you 35 and this is also required field so you can run this uh, how we get the output like all these fields are getting cleared right so table name and all these things and uh, finally we have one more row in the table so what we'll do in this means the same way we can have this td tag which is table data what we're going to uh, add in this table means we can have this input uh, thing input thing which is of value of you can submit a form right so value of uh, uh, so value is nothing but text we, which we are going to see in that so login form is login and uh, this is of type oh, login is nothing but you are submitting the data right submit type and value is login similarly to this you can have another more button that is uh, called as a uh, reset button you can say reset will be there and uh, uh, the reset type is each of uh, reset right so reset type so what we can do for this is going to run this you can see it is in the edge but you want that thing in the center then you have you can have this uh, attribute called as align for this particular row that align is as center center align then you can see the output like it is in the center if you want to give any gap between the login and the reset buttons what you can do is you have this known spacing in in nbsp so by using uh, nbsp you will get space there sorry um, and uh, this is some spacing has added for that so like this you can create a login form so simple things we have done we have created a rows which are having a uh, font with a white color and uh, these things like bg color uh, first uh, the table color bg color is gray so you got all these things and you can take image from online anything and width and height i have mentioned so basically this is the one uh, table like structure which is used for login forms like that so the pattern you can use and multiple uh, multiple values you can go for uh, email so comma separate email so uh, so many types of input types like search and the telephone uh, so all these things you can use uh, we have done a video on this you can go to our channel playlist and you can search for uh, html playlist you already have uh, all types of uh, videos like related to and all the fields and input type elements different different videos and for different different concepts so you can watch those videos and you can uh, find those videos at the end of this video uh, play cards so display cards so you can go to video and learn all the concepts from our videos so if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and if you uh, having any doubts or suggestions for these videos you can feel free to comment in the comment section we definitely take your suggestions and improve ourselves to give better outputs share this video to your friends and colleagues who are in a uh, basic level of uh, understanding of web development and learning html login form all these things from the starting point to help uh, share these videos to them that this will help us them a lot while creating a basic things from the starting point so you can see the output here like uh, uh, like registered you can give any number here without uh, having any um, 
like a uh, regulation pattern which you have mentioned is not satisfying here that will ask you to please match the requested format like that so next password you can see it is of password type so password how it will be not displayed right so it will take like that type so like this login form and very set what will work so all these uh, about uh, uh, email id and those things so hope this video helps you and uh, share this video to your friends and colleagues. that's all for today thanks for watching uh, in the upcoming videos we are coming with different types of examples so stay tuned to our channel please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified each time when we upload a new video that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye